forgot we're social distancing so we can't hug. <laughs> And even though we can't get together here, it's okay, because you can still check us out on our social media platforms. Yes. You can go to our Facebook page, like, and then make sure you share with all your friends. And even on Instagram, hit that little heart. Let us know you like it and follow. And on YouTube! YouTube! We're on YouTube! You can check out the preschool page on YouTube and Rochelle's videos are on YouTube. Jesus. That way you can do all the moves. <laughs> Just like Michelle does in our worship videos every week. Subscribe, you guys. Subscribe. Like, share, and follow. We want to hear what you have to say. We want to stay connected. Well, Michelle, we're about to have a blast in preschool because I know I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to have a blast in elementary school as well. So are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because it's worship time. Let's go. Welcome back. I'm so glad you joined me today. It's Miss Dolly. I am super excited today because we are having a blast learning about the different people in the Bible that had total faith in God because they knew that God's got it. Even though they were afraid in their situations, they knew that God would take care of them and their needs no matter what. That's what having faith is. So guys, I hope you're ready for some fun today because we're going to do our Bible verse, we're going to do our story, and Miss Dolly's favorite part is when we worship because you know Miss Dolly loves to dance. So guys, I hope you're ready. We're going to start off with our Bible verse and you know how we get ready. We're going to stretch those arms, wiggle your fingers, and show me your muscles. Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. Great job, guys! I can definitely tell that you've been practicing. Keep up the great work. So we're gonna let Ali and his friends from the treehouse take it from here so we can hear our story for today. Are you guys ready? Get comfy, because I just love it when Ali and his friends tell us our story. So take it away, Ali. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm happy to see you today. Can you believe it's still raining outside? It's been pouring for days and days now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Do you know what this is? It's a cup with a string on the end. This string stretches all the way across the yard into my house. My mom has another cup on the other end of the string. We're gonna try to hear each other through the string. Isn't that cool? Let's try it. Hello, Mom. Hello. Uh, hello, Mom. Hello. Hello, Mom. Hello. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Talking to your mom, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yeah, I sure am. My mom and I are trying to hear each other through the string. 
And it really works! We can hear each other! Cup phones are fun. Yes, it's true. But I know someone who always hears you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, this one is for Mrs. Burkholtz. Oh, and this one is for Mr. Jackson. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. I'm just getting all of these letters ready for delivery. I love when people send cards like this. Having a great trip. Miss you. Love, Gigi and Gramps. It's so great. I love all of the different ways that we have to talk to each other. In fact, today's story is about how we can talk to God. Are you ready to hear it? I said, are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So our true story from the Bible begins in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Some are sandy and hot, like really, really hot. Let's all pretend we're in a desert. Oh. oh, man, it's so hot out here. Look at that sun. It must be 100 degrees. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Let's fan ourselves. Whew. Whew. The desert is hot. Well, in today's story, in a hot desert, there was a mother named Hagar and her son. They look so tired, don't they? And hot. Now tell me, what do people need when they are hot and tired? Let's see if you can guess. Do they need a warm coat, roller skates, or a drink of water? A drink of water, that's right. Hagar and her son needed water, but they were out of water. Hagar didn't know what to do. They had no water to drink and couldn't walk any farther. Hagar's son started crying. And then <laughs> Hagar started crying too. Everyone, let's cry with them. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, we can stop. Great job. They were all alone in the desert and thirsty and hot. They thought no one could hear them crying. Except, tell me, who always hears us? God, that's right, God can always hear us. Just then, an angel spoke to Hagar from above. Everyone say, whoa, whoa. The angel told Hagar to not be afraid, that God heard her son's cries and he was showing her where to find water. God loves us so much, doesn't he? He hears us no matter where we are. No matter where we go, God is with us. And we don't have to worry because God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God heard the boy, and he will hear you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God heard Hagar and her son and gave them just what they needed. And guess what? God hears us and helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it, get it? Got it! Good! Do you know what the best part is? I don't need a cup phone to talk to God. He's always with me and always hears me, no matter what. Talk to you later, Mom. I'm gonna talk to God. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wow, I 
just love it when Ali and his friends from the treehouse tell us our story. It's so much fun learning about the different people in the Bible and the things that they go through. I know Hagar had to have been so scared. Can, can you imagine being all alone in the desert? Close your eyes. Look around, look to your, now open them. Look to your left, look to your right. What do you see? Nothing, right? They were all alone in the desert. They looked to their left, they looked to their right, and they saw no one, and they both started to cry. They were so sad, and they were so scared, and they were so thirsty and alone. But you know what? They knew that God's got it. And then all of a sudden, an angel appeared and told them where to get water from. Wow, that's awesome. God's got it. Even when they were all alone and no one around to hear their cries, God heard them. We just love how God loves us so much that he takes care of everything for us. Because that definitely proves that God's got it. And now it's Miss Dolly's favorite time. I hope you're ready. Get those dancing shoes ready because we're going to dance. All right, guys, we're going to do our dance for this month. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because it's worship time. Let's go. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me. Always with me. together it's always so much fun and of course how miss Shelley always teaches us that we can worship God anywhere or shall we say like we're learning this month wherever you go so guys the saddest part of this is when I have to say goodbye but I hope you had a blast today I hope you enjoyed the song the Bible verse and our story and I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. So have a great rest of your day. See you on Wednesday. Bye.